There is a storm of the earthquake at the moment starting in the Reconus Peninsula, mostly concentrated around this Swartzengi and the Krisovik, most probably in the Krisovik area. Uh, Blue Lagoon Spa, which is a world famous uh, tourist attraction for Iceland with the first class cuisine, has been in the news for many good reasons, including the video that somebody made during the exit from the uh, Blue Lagoon in the February made a viral video that actually didn't deter anybody on that time, although the lava was outside of the walls, protective walls of the Source Indian Blue Lagoon, crossing the road but not getting very close to it. But that uh, video made everybody interested actually to experience this. There's a lot of, you know, this is a kind of business. There's a tourist attraction where you can in the world go to such a lovely place like Blue Lagoon. So the video went viral and everybody wanted to experience it. So they went there. Now eruption is probably underway until they have finished the video. Probably maybe it starts. Um, if it starts near the Sunuka crater series, half an hour after storm of earthquakes, we will have the eruption. So... Everybody is now evacuated in orderly way from the Blue Lagoon to a safe place in the surrounding towns, probably to Reykjavik even. And uh, uh, Grindavik is now evacuated also from people. The cameras on this, on this Slingefell, which is the adjacent to the Swartzengi, shows some, uh, uh, some small smoke uh, in that area. Coast Guard, the Slandy Coast Guard is under alert. It is quite possible in the Sondonka Craters area, we will have an eruption. Uh, and the warning time was previously announced to be only 30 uh, minutes. My colleagues in the Icelandic Meteorological Office, who are very competent geologists, already have uh, uh, explained and mapped several uh, potential scenarios. With the most likely one be this one, which is in the eruption in the Sondonka area, and flowing toward the northwest. And the blue area shows where the lava cover may actually extend to. It will stop at the wall of the sourcing, most likely, because we already have built, we already have thought about that. But this is amazing that uh, how Icelandic people and their government, in such an orderly way, have thought about everything and everything right uh, falls into place when there is a need for evacuation and, you know, letting the magma and lava cover some areas which is an inevitable in a way. I have a video showing that what we expect to see in the case of an eruption. Just watch that video. I think that has some points for everybody to repeat in this eruption. How we know the eruption has started? This is the Reckoness Peninsula and this is the Swartzengi volcanic system that we are talking about. You see a cluster of the earthquakes appearing concentrated in a certain area, in this case near the Swartzengi uh, volcanic system. Before that, you see just waves of the earthquakes appearing on the chart, then a huge cluster, and they're intense, very close, up to magnitude uh, 3 in the Richter scale. You see the wave coming, the tremors, and uh, on the chart, you see them sudden rise in the tremors. That was uh, December 23, this is the January and this is the February eruption, as you can see. We have a high rise, sudden rise in the tremors, which shows the eruption has started. This is the moment that the earthquake suddenly increased. This is breaking through the surface, cracking the rocks, pulverizing them, making way for the magma to erupt. And the moment that it happens, the pressure is relieved you will see the gases volatilized inside the magma actually coming to the surface, pushing the magma upward, creating lava. You see at the depth, bubbles rising. This is the crushing moment that happens. Then what happens is that the uh, magma reaches the surface area with the lowest pressure and a bang. monitor the situation by looking at the MBL Iceland and the RUV Iceland uh, live on the camera and just see how it happens in real time. 
I recommend that you, you do that. Of course, you could say that you don't need any of these geophysics. You can just look at the cameras and you will see it.